Hi guys, it's Owen from MAST and today we're going to be having a quick overview and demonstration uh, of how the Netbio system operates, either using a laptop and also using your phone app. So as a brief explanation, just quickly as to what we have set up at the moment. So we're in the demo room where we have a matrix set up, a four by four matrix, along with three receivers and actually four displays with a video wall that you can't see in the frame. But the three displays here, uh, two of them have receivers, these two on the right, and one of them is using a HD, HDMI mirrored output, which is that left screen. So the left screen and the right screen will basically always display the same sources. So what I'm just quickly going to explain now is that I already have this all set up uh, through the laptop using the NetBio 360 software. It doesn't take too long, but I'm not going to go through the whole setup process of it. You can see here from my uh, start points and end points and my sources and displays, we've obviously got uh, different NVRs, a Blu-ray player, and also a laptop. Top, uh, which is off to my left as well. Then of course we have our three displays here, the middle display, left display and the video wall because these are the receivers so we are using a HDMI mirrored output so in theory we do actually have four displays. So as long as you've got your uh, inputs and outputs, your sources and displays all set up and ready to go, pretty much is a plug and play system, you just need to name them. You can then go over to the control app or you can create a new app project in the top right but since I already have one, uh, the mass demo room, we're going to just click into that one and you can see here that we just have a very basic example of the setup in our room right now. So as you can see we've got our four sources uh, along with the Blu-ray player with the IR because we can control that from the phone app as well. Then we've also got our three receivers and obviously our three displays. If we had something like AV over IP we would be able to control each of those displays on the video wall. By the moment we are just using the uh, 4x4 matrix instead. So when you've got your project configured correctly it should be near enough one-to-one -one as to how exactly you have it wired as well in real life terms. Uh, once you've got that all wired up and set up and it's all working you can then publish to the app uh, or of course you can publish to NetVio devices and save your project. So if you ever want to come back to site, for example, you can just quickly open up the project, connect to their Wi-Fi and you're on their system. So once you finish, you can publish to the app. Then of course you can scan the QR code and get it added onto your phone app. So we'll just switch over to the phone app now so that I can show you the uh, process of operating it through that software. Okay, so now that I've switched over to the uh, phone app, the NetVio Go app, uh, which is free by the way, so you are free to try it, as well as the uh, NetVio 360 software on your laptop or your computer. I do now have a live view showing of, of course, what is going on in the room, which is also being displayed on the phone app. So for example, what I can do is I can change all of these displays around me to like Blu-ray, for example. So if I just apply that to all, then these displays behind me should change to Blu-ray, which is what they are all doing. Of course, these two displays uh, have the receivers, uh, and of course that one is using the mirrored output, the HDMI mirrored output from the back of the matrix. And of course we have the video wall as well, which is just over to the left of me. Um, so of course I can switch the middle display over to IVSS, for example, for that one. And then of course, like middle NVR, that can also be displayed on the left display but as well as the right display because those are the mirrored ones it seems like it's all working if you do have sources like blu-ray players and sky q boxes or whatnot yeah you do also get the option to have like the remote as well so if i tap into the remote you'll be able to see that i've got some remote control options here so as again in the controls for the blu-ray player uh, if i just go down on this Obviously you get touch feedback on your phone as well, which is nice to know you've actually pressed something. Uh, but yeah, you can see on the displays behind me, that I'm just moving that dot around. And of course, if I want to play something, I'll just hit okay. And they should all just start playing automatically for me. So I just let this footage roll out for, for a few seconds so you can see it happening. So again, having something like that is really handy for obviously pubs or sports bars or gyms, anything like that really that you're wanting to display. Of course, you also get a list of audio controls as well as many other things in the app. There's lots of different remote controls to, that have been integrated into the app to support it. But yeah, those are general terms. And then of course, you've also got like your power in the top right. So power off all the displays. Uh, and the amplifiers if you had some of those as well um, instead of going around and manually turning like all the displays off for example you can just quickly one tap press it and do like a global turn off on all the displays and that so really another handy feature that i'll quickly show you as well is if we delete this project so if we come out of our own one 
and we go to the demo projects at the bottom and we go to sports bar project and we go to the main bar you'll see that the audio controls are slightly different uh, and you can also see a range of different types of sources and displays and stuff there is, also, there is also ones with video walls and that so you know you can also watch this on your phone for example if you have AV over IP so as you can see on this one I've now got an audio control like slider bar which I can control the audio from so if I tap on the three dots you'll also see that I've also got different areas uh, of the premises where they'll have like maybe different bits of audio so different speakers that they want stuff at different volumes so if they want to mute the pool tables uh, for example and the shuffleboard and then and they only want the main bar they want that to be the loudest then of course they can turn that up and of course that will be the loudest so it really gives you like a free range over how you want to control your audio in different areas of the premises bars uh, pubs restaurants that kind of thing uh, you really can have full control over that system for example so one other quick thing that I want to also demonstrate on the phone app, uh, which is in the demos that you can also try as well. Uh, but on the front of the house, for example, on this demo, you have a, a video wall. So we do a video wall in here. However, this I believe is using AV over IP. So you have more control and more functionality over it because uh, each individual screen is treated as something different. So for example, uh, you can also have presets. So if I go to presets and go by three by three. So if I go like that, then of course you can see there that you've got nine screens displaying what looks to be sky q and then the other screens around it displaying other kinds of sources like apple tv and all that sort of stuff of course you know you get the same sort of functionality all the remotes for it as well so free sat for example but yeah it's all worth trying of course and it's all free to try out on the app the software on your laptop as well of course if you did want more in-depth guides and stuff like that we do have uh, one of our first videos that we did on a configuration of a matrix on a compact uh, but as well the netvio uh, youtube channel does have plenty of guides as well uh, that it, it runs through so it's probably definitely worth checking out for that and that's gonna about wrap it up for this video it was pretty straightforward pr pretty simple obviously nothing too complex in terms of what i've been showing netvio are also you know keeping up to date with new product releases and stuff like that so for example they've got some new uh, arc extenders coming out and also like new 48 port uh, gigabit switches for your AV over IP systems because uh, they are virtually plug and play uh, same similar scenario as the matrix <laughs> in that sense uh, as well as that they're doing HDMI extenders now in uh, HD base 3.0 so they're fully uncompressed uh, so you get your full 4k quality on that so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and of course uh, leave a comment and we'll be sure to reply there help you guys out with your next netvo project thanks for watching